After this video, you will know if the website builder Duda is any good. Welcome to DevWorld, my name is Sam and in today's video I want to talk about a new website builder I found which I think is quite good, which is called Duda. I want to be transparent from the beginning, so Duda, the company, approached me and asked me if I could make a video about them, but I'm not sponsored, so this is 100% uh, my opinion. So we'll talk about the pros and cons of Duda and compare them to Wix and Squarespace and also WordPress. And after that, I'm going to give you a summary of what I think about Duda. But first of all, what is Duda exactly? So Duda is between, let's say, Wix and Squarespace, so it's a classic uh, website builder but it's not as restrictive as Squarespace, but also not as free as Wix. So let's get right into the pros of using Duda. So Duda lives off its templates. They have a lot of great templates where you can choose from. They look very modern, have animations and are all around just very nice to look at and also very usable with the best, let's say, online marketing features in there. It's very easy to set up your Duda website. You can do it with a couple of clicks and then you're already up and running. So Duda is a great drag and drop editor. There is a possibility to freely move elements around like you would be used to with Wix, but it lives off the grid system, which I am a big fan of, that you are a little bit more constrained with your design choices. But especially good is Duda if you are an agency. So they offer a really a lot of at the site or on the site services and features for agencies. One of it is the white branding. So you can actually use Duda as a platform for your clients' websites without them knowing that it's Duda or whatever brand. They just gonna see your logo or uh, let's say white branded uh, page where they have uh, you have your clients' websites. So that's very, very good. Now we think actually that small agencies that uh, produce websites or maintain websites for clients, I think that's going to be the main clientele of this Duda website builder. Because one of the features is also that the code that the website is actually producing is fully exportable. There are some restrictions, but way less than with other website builders. And it's going to be just plain HTML and CSS at the end of the day, what you can export, which is great if you want to change platforms or if, for example, your customer wants to host it by themselves or anything like that, it should be very, very easily easy to transport or to transfer your website from Duda to code and then host it on another server. I also tested the website with the Google Web Vitals or Core Web Vitals um, specs and it seems that they have a very good performance. So mobile, it performs well and on desktop, excellent. So then let's go into the cons. The first and obvious con is they don't have a free tier. Yes, they have a 14 day free trial phase, but after that you have to pay. Uh, it's surely not the most inexpensive website builder out there, but at the end of the day, we're talking about a couple of dollars a month. So especially if you're an agency and you use that for your daily business, these couple of bucks shouldn't bother you because you make way more money out of that. But if you're just a hobbyist and have a website for the, your last wedding or something like that, maybe a free tier on something like Wix would be better. Then if you deviate from the templates and the sections you can drag in, um, one of the good things about Duda is they have a lot of uh, exchangeable sections, so about section, product, pi uh, price section, all of that is already done. But if you need something customizable, it can be a little bit hard to do that. First of all, because the editor just feels a little bit clunky at times. So you wanna drag something in there, but it's it doesn't land on the spot you want. It's not as responsive as a Wix or a Squarespace would be, which have excellent website builders. But these are really the two biggest downsides you would have with Duda, uh, with the website builder Duda. But I have to say, especially if you stick to the templates and the already made sections, it's actually a great, great website builder, especially if you are an agency and you just want to exchange uh, different sections for different clients. Because at the end of the day, most client websites, if it's a bakery or a car repair shop or whatnot, they usually just use the same different sections. So it's an about us, they have a price page and all of that. But you can call also in there and program or use um, Duda as a dynamic page builder. But this is outside of the scope of this video. Just know that you would be able to do that. 
So then let's go and compare Duda with Wix. I think they're probably the biggest um, com uh, competitors. Uh, it's very comparable. What I like about Duda is that, as I say, that, as I said, they have this grid system, so you're a little bit more constrained with your design choices. Uh, if you design websites with Wix, you can easily find yourself getting uh, lost in all the possibilities you have. So this is surely one advantage, in my opinion, uh, of Duda. Then also you cannot white brand or anything with Wix. Again, if you're an agency, this could be very important. But another big thing, of course, Wix is a, it has a huge community, a huge ecosystem. If you want to find some resources or something like that, even if they are niche, you will be able to find it easy or easier than with Duda, which is a smaller platform in general. Then compared to Squarespace, Squarespace, I personally don't really like, so I'm a little bit biased because I think it's very uh, uh, restrictive. So it constrains you more or less to their design system. You can change the main and the accent color. And yes, of course you could do uh, go in and do uh, different customization, but it's very uh, restrictive. The motto of uh, Squarespace is surely that you should follow their system our design system if some if you have some clients that don't like that which you will have it's very uh you fighting the tool a little bit more with squarespace than with something like duda where you may freer in your design choices the model i think should you choose duda over wordpress I think this discussion is anyway a totally different discussion so i think you first should decide if you should use wordpress or one of those other website builders like Wix, Squarespace and Duda. If you then decided, yeah, it's, it's a different decision anyway, then you would decide either Duda against Wix or Squarespace and not Duda versus WordPress. It's rather website builders against WordPress, which should be your decision. So I think I can't really compare Duda versus uh, WordPress because as I said it's it's a totally different decision if you want to find out more if you should uh, use WordPress or on one of those website builders I have a video about that in uh, where you find the link in the description down below if you're interested so what's my summary I think Duda is quite similar to something like Weebly but I've never considered Weebly uh, in the last five years because it just doesn't feel as refined anymore it does feel like the platform has a very good base but it's just not ha have has been maintained for a couple of years. So I wouldn't use Weebly, but Weebly has this nice, um, great drag and drop as well. But and as I said, I never used it for the reasons I mentioned before. And the other thing is I really like Elementor. They also have this drag and drop grid system, but they're only, um, this is a plugin for WordPress. So if you don't want to use WordPress, which most of the time I don't want to do, I can't benefit from this great Elementor page builder. So, and this is really where Duda shines. This uh, really fills that gap of not being as flexible as Wix and not being as restrictive as, Verb, uh, as uh, Squarespace, but it's right in between in the middle and it's more modern and more refined now than Weebly. So I think it's a very great choice, especially uh, if, if you want a grid uh, drag and drop system. And especially if you are um, a design agency or if you maintain and uh, create different websites for different cl clients, this is really where Duda shines. So you can host them on your platform. You can work with clients on that without them seeing that it's Duda. Um, so it makes the, the presentation, how you work with clients that much more professional. Again, the only real big downside I see next to the price, which as I said, shouldn't be a big um, downside if you use it professionally. It's just a little bit of clunkiness if you really need something special, special custom made. Uh, I hope uh, Duda can change that in the future, but that's really the only big downside I can see. So that was it about the review of Duda as a website builder. It's, I wouldn't say up and coming. It has been out there for a couple of years now. I just discovered it now. I'm a big fan, I have to say, especially because as I said, it really fits the niche of not being too uh, flexible, but not being too restrictive and especially for digital agencies. So I hope this video helped. If you want to see more videos like that, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video.